Imagine being a kid in the mid-90s. You just saw Toy Story in the movie theater, or on VHS, or the rare case of seeing it on Laserdisc, and you wanted to play the video game after seeing it advertised on one of your old Disney tapes. Toy Story, the video game. So real, you're there. Now for Sega Genesis, coming for Super NES system not included. Get into it. You got your trusty Sega Genesis out, your TV on, ready for that sweet 16-bit action. Toy Story the Video Game. You won't believe it's 16-bit. But Your parents put your dear old grandma to the task of finding the game for you. Not long after, she gives you a mysterious NES cartridge that she picked up at the flea market, telling you it was that toy game you wanted. You cautiously put the cartridge into your NES, turn it on, and instantly greeted with HOLY SHIT WHAT IS THIS?! WHAT IS THIS?! WHY AREN'T YOU IN A NURSING HOME YET, GRANDMA?! <laughs> The Toy Story video game originally released on the Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, and PC. However, in 1997, a man by the name of Yi Hao Yang was scratching his ball sack while wondering what game he should bootleg next, seeing the Toy Story game and going right to work. Other titles Yi Hao Yang has worked on include Mickey Mania 7, Contra Spirits, and Super Donkey Kong. I have to say, the label for the first production wasn't that bad. A super a Toy Story Nandale! But the reproduction is just... <laughs> this bootleg or pirate or whatever you so choose to call it is widely known for its typos and its dialogue. Uh, toy Sotry. That's like a typo you would make when googling Toy Story real quick. A toy, toy so try. Toy so, so try. So, saw try. While I couldn't find a copy that would work with the emulators I tried it on, I grabbed a patched version which also fixed the English so we can't laugh at that throughout this game. I am so, so sorry. I've ruined everybody's memes. So without further ado, let's just jump into this. First thing we see is copyright 1997 EHY WCW. EHY obviously standing for E Hao Yang, but nobody knows what WCW stands for. Maybe an acronym for the publisher. Then we're greeted with Ham burrowing a hole through Woody like he's a damn mole. And we're not even gonna bother with the options because it just alternates the jump and attack buttons. What's the, what's, what, what, what's the fucking use for? an options menu then anyway if you're only going to be changing the two fucking buttons two fucking buttons you hit start and the uh, buzz just has a fucking grand old time. You get your briefing from the English etch a sketch which really isn't English in my copy. Then we're thrust into a, a, an NES version of that old army game. Now, I'm not gonna be the first one to admit that the graphics are surprisingly good, especially for a bootleg NES game. The controls are a little bit flimsy and maybe a little slippery, but what else are you gonna expect from a, a pirated game? You're gonna expect some like rock solid M Mar Mario controls? I don't think so, boyo. You say you want an NES Toy Story game. Well, you can't have your cake and eat it too, you bastard. You take any damage, will prepare yourself to be flung halfway across the earth. Oh no, what? He got hit by a toy plane and traveled to China. China. Happens every time I step on a Lego. Hey, maybe if I do that enough, I'll end up at Yi Hao Yang's house. So you open up the bucket of army men, bring down the baby monitor, bring down this little sad boy, then head right off the screen. Wait a minute, wait... Is that... that... that's fucking Contra! So this game only has five levels. That old army game, something that kind of resembles Ego Check, Woody's Nightmare, a buzz clip, in which the controlling of RC isn't that bad actually, except the environment has unusual hitboxes, and it's not like the original game where you lightly tap something, you are sent spinning out of fucking control and cannot recover quick enough to retrieve the godforsaken battery before you die. Needless to say, I have something similar to Nam flashbacks when I play this level. And the final level in this pirate is Buzz Battle, and that's it. You beat the game, you're a winner. Yep, it stops when you beat Buzz. So apparently the Chinese tried to rewrite Toy Story to where Woody kills off Buzz and that, 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 that's the end of the movie. He pulls off his pull string and chokes Buzz to death with it and I did not rip that out of a really bad creepypasta, I swear to you. So overall, this pirate really isn't that bad. It's 
playable. It looks nice, sounds nice, doesn't play as nice, but I was able to beat it within like maybe 30 minutes. The first time ever that I've beaten the Toy Story game, other than on the Game Boy, without having to cheat. You know, you have the little spinning star thingy. Yeah, I'm bad. The soundtrack is actually really, really good. Sounds like an actual, legit Toy Story chiptune. And overall, I'm surprised this graphic capability was crammed into an NES cartridge. Of course, it's nothing to brag about as a legit game. It's really short and doesn't have expansive playing styles the original offers, such as the 3D first person level, but it's impressive for a bootleg. That being said, I ain't touching it again. I'm, I'm just gonna go play the real versions because aesthetics aside, the game's a slog. Still though, I wanted to make a mini doc about this because, well, I have a fascination in some bootleg games. If you want me to cover more, just let me know in the comments. Until next time, this has been Utonical with another Flame and Fire video. Hot, 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 ow, ow, ow. Hot, 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 hot.